In 1962 Space Wars was released, this is the first computer-based game. In 1968 Ralph Baer patents his interactive television game. Four years later Magnavox releases Odyssey, this is the first home video game system. In 1971, three college students of Minnesota College, Don Redwich, Bill Hyman, and Paul Dillenberger, these three create a simulation of Pioneer's life called Oregon Trail. This is the first ever simulation game. In 1972, Alan Alpern created Pong as a training exercise assigned to him by Atari co-founder Nolan Bushnell. Pong was the first commercially successful video game. The prototype began exhibiting technical issues and Gaddis contacted Alpern to fix it. Upon inspecting the machine, Alpern discovered that the problem was the coin mechanism was overflowing with quarters. In 1975, Bushnell of Pong fame creates his game company Atari. The first game is a port of Pong, his breakaway hit. In 1977, Atari releases the Atari 2600, the first console to have multiple games to play that are interchangeable. This game console also uses a joystick. In 1981, first-time video game designer named Shigeru Miyamoto, drawing from a wide range of inspirations, Donkey Kong succeeded commercially and critically in North America and Japan. In 1983, Japan gets the release of the Famicom. Two years later, America gets ready for the release of the Nintendo Entertainment System marketed as a toy using Rod the Robot and the Light Zapper all to try to get a foot into a country currently going through the video game crash of 1983. In 1987, The Legend of Zelda releases created by Shigeru Miyamoto. The reason I bring this up is due to the simple fact that this game is the first game to have a save feature. In 1989, the first Game Boy is released, this is monumental, the first portable console. In 1991, Sega Game Company with no mascot and decent game, come up with someone who has 70 games and only 10 are good, he's also the fastest thing alive. In 1995, Sony Electronic Company comes together with Nintendo to create a game console. Long story short that deal fell through and failed, so Sony creates the PlayStation a 3D game console a year later Tomb Raider would release to massive success. In 2001, Microsoft enters the console wars a war to see who can make the best gaming console. With Sega exiting the console war this very year it came down to these three companies leading the console wars, Nintendo and their mascot Mario, Sony and their mascots like Nathan Brake, Spro, and Crash. The XBOX mascot is considered by many to be Master Chief. In 2003, Valve Game Company releases Steam, a place where you can buy, download and update games. This event truly brings computers into the console war. After this, however, the market mostly just consists of these four, each upping their technology for bigger, better games for their fans. Throughout history there has been advertisements, some last the test of time and some are why what does this mean, how does this relate to your product, here are a few both and when they came out. Magnavox presents Odyssey, the electronic game of the future. Odyssey easily attaches to any brand TV, black and white or color, to create a closed circuit electronic playground. Odyssey gives you all the exciting action of hockey and 11 other challenging play and learning games for the entire family. Odyssey, a new dimension for your television. Now at your Magnavox dealer. He's listed in the yellow pages. Oh, Star Wars. It's great in the arcade. Whoa! Time for 
fighters, fireballs coming right at me. Watch the laser towers. Aim for the tops. Pick them the cannons. Use the force. Coming too fast. It's way, it's way. My shields are gone. All right, stop going in. Oh, some game, huh? Some game. In a galaxy of video games, there is only one: Star Wars, the arcade game. We are Nintendo Ultimate TV Game System. We challenge all players. You cannot beat us. Aim your Zapper gun. You cannot beat us. Even with your robot partner, you cannot beat us. So one million. You cannot beat us. Discover new worlds. Yeah? You look like a real jerk. Well, I am a corporate executive. He stops exciting things from happening. So what you doing? Well, Muffy Buffy, Biff Jr. and I are going on our Sunday drive. Oh, no, you ain't. You're going to play Pole Position! <laughs> It's in stereo, and its games are interchangeable. Plus, Game Boy comes with the outrageous new game, Tetris. And for head-to-head -head competition, use the revolutionary video link and blow your opponent away. Game Boy, only from Nintendo. Now you're playing with power, portable power. Now, after seeing those ads for games or consoles from the 80s and 90s, let's see some from today. <laughs> 